Welcome. In our previous lesson, we talked about how a dot is used in a design. In our lesson today, we are going to look at line as an element of design. By the end of this lesson, students will be able to know what line is and be able to identify some natural and man-made lines. Now, line. A line is a part created by the tip or the end of a moving tool. Some examples of this moving tool are the pen, the marker, the chalk, among others. So it's a path created by the tip of a moving tool. Now, as I said, the tip of a moving tool from one point to the other. So if I have this and I create a path from here to here, it is a line. It doesn't matter how it looks because we have different types of line. So if I create from this part to this part, it is a line. There are many forms of line. Now, this illustration shows line in nature. Line in nature. The veins of a human being is a line in nature. The veins of a leaf is a line in nature. The stripes of a zebra is a line in nature. Now, man-made lines. Example, a curve. Any form it takes, whether from the left or from the right, a curve is a man-made line. A diagonal line. A diagonal line can be a line from the upper right corner to the lower left corner or from the lower upper left corner to the lower right corner. That is a diagonal line. A horizontal line. From the left to the right or from the right to the left is a horizontal line. And we have the zigzag line. The zigzag line. And we have the wavy line. Wavy line. Like the waves of the sea. The wavy line. And we also have what we call the parallel line. It could be two diagonal lines heading towards the same direction or two horizontal lines with the same direction. It's a parallel line. This brings us to the end of our lesson today. In our next lesson, we are going to look at the uses of line in a design. See you in our next lesson.